now I'd like to introduce this Mrs. Victoria Terrega, team leader of Euromed from Spain. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I would like to thank you very much, Morocco, for inviting Aeromed Justice to this conference and to congratulate Morocco for this excellent conference. Uh, what is Aeromed Justice? Aeromed Justice is a program funded by the European Union that works with uh, different countries in the Mediterranean. It's a regional uh, program that works with Morocco, with Algeria, with Tunisia, with Egypt, with Lebanon, with Jordan, with Israel, and with Palestine. And the objective of Euromed Justice is to build the fundamentals of an Euromediterranean mechanism of cooperation in the fields of uh, criminal matters and civil matters. But of course, we also work with the high judicial councils in order to improve the independence of the justice. And here, one of the recent activities that we did was on a study visit and a seminar. The study visit was uh, to Spain. There were a representative from all these countries, one representative from the Minister of Justice and one representative of the High Judicial Council of all these countries. And we visited the, the Minister of Justice, the High Judicial Council in Spain, and the General Prosecutor Office. And then we also had a seminar. This seminar was organized jointly with the European Network for the Council for the Judiciary. This is a network, a European Union network, where all the countries, uh, all the judicial councils in Europe are gathered. And there we did a very interesting uh, a seminar based on a methodology uh, which uh, was to discuss on 22 indicators on the independence and accountability of the, of the justice. Uh, these indicators were in the form of a questionnaire that we sent to all the Mediterranean countries. They replied, and there we had the, um, uh, a score. But the important thing of this was that we split into two groups, and we had a very frank discussion on all these indicators. The issue here is to discuss in an open environment with the, your colleagues from all the countries and from the European side, which are the ways of improving the independence of justice. So there were three key issues. One is that independence and accountability go together and cannot be addressed in separate ways. The second one is that there is objective and subjective independence and accountability. The objective one is, of course, the legal, the formal safeguards. But there is the uh, subjective subject, uh, independence and accountability. And this is what the citizens, the population, perceive about the independence of the justice. And that's very important, because you can have a wonderful law, wonderful safeguards, but if they are not useful in the practice, or they don't work in the practice is another issue. And then the third issue is that when we talk about the independence of the judiciary, we're talking of the judiciary as a whole, but also of the independence of the individual judges. So just to give you some examples of these indicators that we would discuss, for example, for the formal independence, of course, concerning the judiciary, we had legal basis of independence, organize, organizational autonomy, funding, management, etc. for the judges, uh, non-transferability of judges, for the formal accountability for the judiciary, allocation of cases, uh, procedures of complaints, etc. But the main issues which were our conclusions of this uh, open discussion with all the uh, Mediterranean countries with the European network. The conclusions were that regarding the objective independence, the challenges that most of the countries share was court budgets and resources, court management and administration, the issue of non-transferability of judges, the workload. But of course, there were also some strengths, as for example, internal independence, or in some countries, the IT issues. And regarding the subjective independence, uh, it's true that there was not a lot uh, of information on this. It's a difficult issue. 
But the, regarding the views of the citizens on the independence and accountability, the success of the scores were moderate, uh, and also regarding the views on corruption. But the important discussion was what can we do in order to improve the support and to increase the support of the citizenship and the population to the, to the justice. Of course, we discussed a lot of the improvements that could, we, could be made. But I think that the main conclusion that we had here I'm finishing is that there's always place for improvement on the judicial independence. And this is the key issue, that only being conscious of this need of improvement, we can really have an impact on the rule of law, on democracy, and on human rights. Thank you very much. That was great, thank you. Thank you.